Welcome back. Have you ever lost a pet? Panic sets in and emotions run high, so what do you do? Our next guest is a lost animal expert, and we welcome author, radio host, Tim Link of Wagging Tails via Skype. Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm doing great today. How about yourself? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, you're coming to us from Atlanta, correct? Atlanta, Georgia, correct. Excellent. Excellent. Now, now Tim, tell us what it is that you do, and quickly tell me how you got into this as well, because I know you didn't start off in this career. No, it wasn't anything I had planned, but I, I started working with animals in various areas as far as uh, behavior issues, changes going on with them, working with animals that were ready to make their transition or had prepared to uh, you know, transition, and then the lost animal work, which is what I'm best known for. And word of mouth got out. We had some success stories that went national, and once the word got out, we started getting contacts and emails from literally people around the world. Wow. Now, you actually had a story here locally as well uh, around Gaithersburg, Maryland, correct? You helped find a kitty and bring a kitty home after, what was it, 14 months? 14 months, yes. Yeah. Sam the cat went on a, a nice long excursion. and, and uh, Sabbatical. Yeah, and the, uh, the, uh, uh, the client, uh, Sam's human companion, contacted me trying to find where Sam was. Sam had some health problems, and she was really concerned, obviously. And uh, the story turned out fantastic. We found out exactly that Sam had recently been taken in by someone who moved in to a neighborhood not too far from hers. Um, and uh, ironically enough, the gentleman that moved into the house had an orange cat like Sam, named Sam, uh, many years ago when he was a small child. So it's kind of serendipitous, too. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, had a psychic here recently who would say that was no accident, <laughs> for sure. No coincidence. That's though. right. That's right. Um, now, tell us, you've got some really good tips as far as what to do right when it happens. When your pet goes missing, tell us what it is that you recommend doing. Yeah, there, there's quite a few things you can do, but first thing is get on the uh, case right away. Don't wait. Don't hope that your animal is going to come back. You know, an average sized dog, for instance, if it gets frightened or a size go off on exploration, it can travel about six miles in a day. So if you let several days go by, you're going to have an animal that could be quite a distance away. Wow. Um, now, one of the tips and one of the things I'll, I'll recommend is, you know, everybody puts out signs, put out uh, little posters, little flyers on every uh, telephone pole, on every stop sign at the end of every road. And that's a great thing to do. But the thing that uh, people tend to uh, do is overreact, try to get them out there too quickly instead of putting them out in the right shape and the right form. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is if you're going to place a sign out, make sure that it's good size, poster size if possible. Make sure it's laminated, weatherproof. And you just want three little bits of information on there. Don't overwhelm people with information. Uh, you simply want the word reward, not the amount, but reward as long as, as big of a word as you possibly can. A clear color picture, as, as bright and bold as you possibly can of the animal that's missing. And then your mobile phone number at the very bottom. And it's all the information you need, but if you place it in the right spots, get it put out there in a weatherproof fashion and place those key words out there, that'll get somebody's attention. Because you have to realize that if someone pulls up to a stop sign or comes to the end of the road, you only have a brief second to possibly catch their attention. Right. So, so having all that information out there is definitely one of the best ways that we can do this. And now if someone does lose their pet, they can contact you through your website, correct? Um, correct. And you help all over the country and all over the world. Yes, all over the world. Uh, just contact me and we'll be glad to help out. Well, thank you so much. Tim Link, we really appreciate you coming to us today. And uh, best of luck finding all those lost pets out there. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. All right.